said it's only a paper moon sailing over a cardboard sea but it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me said it's only a canvas sky sailing over a muslim tree but it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me without your love, it's a honk, it's a honk parade. Without your love, it's a melody played on a penny arcade. It's a Barnum and Bailey word, just as phony as it can. But it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me. Whoa. It's only a canvas sky sailing over a Muslim tree. But it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me oh, without your love. It's a honk, it's a honk parade. Without your love, it's a melody played on a penny arcade. It's a Barnum and Bailey. Just as phony as it can be, but it wouldn't be make believe. I said it wouldn't be make believe. No, it wouldn't be make believe if you believe in me. <laughs> I felt that there was no stepping stone from high school to university level playing. And there wasn't until this Metro Parks on his jazz band. There's no other big bands around that you could uh, get experience and know the music and even travel. I think it's great, great experience, having a lot of fun. I always had something like this in mind, uh, even at their age, because there was nothing like it. And it was, there was a void. It was something that was needed. Jazz musicians that come in, the professionals that come in and work with the band, were elated to, to, to hear that there was a program like this. Because every one of them said, gosh, I wish there was something like this when I was their age. I remember I was back in middle school when a friend of mine was already involved in the band and he goes, hey, you want to try this band that uh, they have, you know, here in the community, and I'm like, oh, well, what is it? Oh, they play jazz. Oh, great. And I was into jazz back then. So I wanted to try everything. And uh, since that time, I mean, I've been here. I'm um, right now 24 years old, and I've been in the band, I would say, like uh, eight years, eight, eight years. I, I'm probably one of the first guys that, you know, been in the band. It's playing behind a big band. It's just you get so good sensation of playing behind a big band. It's, it's I don't know what to say about it. My goal is to become a professional uh, artist, musician, and I, I kind of see myself as being that, hopefully. <laughs> I want them to know that this is a difficult business, and uh, you could be the most talent, talented person in the world, it doesn't mean you're going to get that break that you need. So they have to be ready for that. They have to overcome those things. And uh, I make sure that when they finally leave this program, that they are well aware of the fact that the, they need to focus on something else beside their playing music, possibly recording or uh, merchandising or uh, teaching and uh, then they'll be able to play for the rest of their lives, but at the same time, they will be able to earn a living that will uh, afford them a, a nice life. Having Tony Randall ask us to 
a role model. I mean, he was in the music business, or he still is, and he just tells us, you know, no, well, let's just say he tells us the truth about the music business, and, you know, he doesn't tell us no lies about all, you know, about just the way it is. And um, it's, uh, <laughs> he makes it really enjoyable, and that's why I guess I've been here so long, because I, I learned so much because of that one man. I really dedicate a lot of thanks to him, to Tony Randall. You know, he keeps on the tradition. I mean, we're still here. You gotta attack the note. Ba -da -ba -da. All of you, together. The four saxes that are coming in with that, play it together. And, and don't be tentative about it. You come in with confidence. All right, Jesus, you gotta make that note. Back right into the chair and sitting straight because it looks better. And believe it or not, you'll play better. All right, here we go. One, two. One, two. It's a thrill for me to, uh, to work with these young people, to, to travel on the road with them. They're, they're very responsible. We've never had a problem. We've been to New York City, Bahamas, Tallahassee, Disney World, in and outside of the United States. A lot of places. And then the music, the music we play is great. <laughs> For my future, um, it helped me a lot. And uh, right now I'm touring with a, a Latin artist. We have sent almost 65 uh, students to universities and colleges through scholarships that they would not ordinarily have gotten. We were both chosen from Miami, the Grammy Band. And um, it was great, it was a great experience. Every youngster that's come into this program that has graduated high school while they were with the Metro Parks Honors Jazz Band has received a scholarship offered to college or university. It's 100 percent. I wish I could go back into the 1940s and 50s when the bands were playing constantly. We have a sign out there that's on the wall. It says that one of America's most indigenous glories is a big band in full cry. And to me, the, the truer words were never spoken.
Metro Parks Honors Jazz Band can be enjoyed currently on Metro Dade Television's arts and entertainment program, Downtown Dade. And director Randall will be showing off his protégés this summer in the Bahamas, and a trip to Italy is also being planned. Big band sound that recalls the era when big bands were the entertainment in hotels throughout Florida and across the nation. Let's take a listen. Uh, all through the year, we do between 30 and 40 performances, all told and uh, none of the band members receive any kind of uh, uh, compensation for their performances. So what I do is plan a major experience for them. And this year, it's Nassau. Tony Randall, uh, who's a regular guest of ours, approached us, and uh, we got to talking about the possibility of uh, bringing the band over for our awards banquet. to introduce now to you the band. This is the Metro Parks Honors Jazz Band. Uh, we're very delighted to have them with us here this evening. Uh, they have played uh, during the week of the uh, Super Bowl 29 festivities for the NFL Experience. They have played at Walt Disney World and they've played for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. So we're certainly delighted. Let's have a nice round of applause for them. <laughs> Musicians heaven. Pretty much. Can't lose. Get a nice little stay. We do what we like to do is play our horns. Don't have to work. Get some volleyball in. <laughs> a couple days off work. You can't beat it. Oh, good thing. Everybody's just so happy to be here. It's a blast. Uh, everybody's real friendly, terrific. 
I mean, great environment. Being treated to a first-class quality band like the Metro Parks Honors Jazz Band was certainly a, a delight. The people really enjoyed it, and uh, it worked out extremely well. It's very rare that you hear big band music today, and uh, a band of this uh, level is really a pleasure to, for them to hear again. Oh, yeah. They're a nice crowd. Oh, yeah. a nice crowd. There's uh, nothing better than being appreciated. Nothing worse than but being uh, underappreciated. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> Not being recognized for our work. Yeah. You know, our playing experience was, you know, was nice. People liked it. They were dancing. You know, we did something different. <laughs> Cuando el tirano mandó las calles de Cartagena, aquella historia vivió. Cuando aquí llegó los estoneros, africanos se encadenan, besaba mi tierra, esta vida perpetua. Years ago, you traveled most of the time, you got on a bus and you travel, say, from New York City to uh, Virginia somewhere, and then back up to Trenton, and then over to Dayton, Ohio, and uh, you were constantly on a bus and uh, bored to, to, to tears. Uh, this is a lot different. You have a beautiful destination. You fly by jet. You're picked up by buses and, and driven right here to the uh, premises of the Nassau Marriott. So it's, it's a lot nicer. <laughs> Jazz band from Cade, well, Carnival Airlines, flight 21 from...